In this video, you'll learn the best ways to hack your life in less than a minute. There is a famous story about a man and his boiler that tells a lot about where we are today to help you. This person's boiler is broken and it takes weeks to repair. Finally, he goes in and calls the engineer, who comes in the next day, taps it himself, and presto, it starts running again. Faced with the bill, the man complained that the engineer should not have to pay for a few seconds to fix it. Okay, says the engineer, you're not paying for the fix, but over the years of training, we've figured out where to tap. The thing is, you don't have to spend tens of years or thousands of dollars to solve most problems. Thanks to the tremendous advances in psychological research and technology, we are now able to fix our boilers in extremely simple ways. In fact, as these chapters' highlights are noticeable, we can often change something in less than a minute. Here are some psychological tricks to improve yourself in every way, exposing lies instead of being creative. In these chapters, you'll find out why the self-help industry's problem with visualization is mistaken, how to liken you psychology, and what a 19th-century French engineer discovered about working in groups. Nail that interview by being more favored. The interviewer chooses the right job candidates based on their qualifications and work experience, right? Well, not at all. Studies show that when it comes to employment, there is an element that tests everyone. Here are some simple steps you can take to begin the process of preparation for mediation. After tracing more than 100 former students who were targeted for their first jobs, researchers at the University of Washington and the University of Florida found that those who were mostly in favor of the interviewer. There were some things they might like, some talked about interesting topics that were irrelevant to the job, others kept a smile, and some talked about the organization they applied for. This is good news because it's easy to do and it makes a big difference. Another way to fix someone in an interview is to show your weaknesses with a bat. In the 1970s, Duke University psychologists conducted research where participants were presented with a recording of a person's life. In one tape, the man initially admitted that he had been caught cheating at school. In another tape, he finally gave up his confession. The man was named as the person who listened to the tape in which he made his initial confession. Therefore, it is beneficial to maintain your positive aspects by the end of the interview. By doing so, it appears that you naturally prefer your strong points in the conversation, which makes you more capable. One last point of the interview is this, don't be fooled if you make a mistake. Chances are the mistake is more obvious to you than the others, and too much reaction or apology will only highlight something that was probably overlooked. Sometimes avoiding mistakes and gossip makes you more sympathetic. Eligibility is not just for interviews. It is also a great benefit to your social life. In fact, if you don't like it, the odds are against making or celebrating many of your friends. This may come as a surprise, but competent people actually look more attractive and capable when they stumble, instead of trying to be perfect. Consider how President Kennedy handled the Gulf War. Although the attempt to invade Cuba was a complete disaster, it enhanced Kennedy's ability, as he made no excuses and accepted full responsibility for the failure. For further investigation, the author gathered an audience and selected two actors to present a blender. An actress performed well and looked highly educated. The second thing went wrong, the lid of the blender came off and he threw himself into the fruit juice. Although the audience considered the performance of the perfect person to be professional and reliable, the other actress topped the list in terms of merit. When asked to explain his rankings, people said he could not recognize the flawless performance of the first actress but showed warmth with the second actress, which showed a more humane aspect. Note that this effect only occurs when you are already seen as authorized. If you are an average actor, making mistakes will cost you money and you will look ugly. But if you are good at what you are doing, don't worry, sometimes the slip-up is dear. There is another thing that will make you more capable, avoid gossip. Researchers at Ohio State University conducted a study on how gossip is perceived. Participants were asked to watch a video in which the actors disliked a third party. Surprisingly, the participants considered the actors to have negative traits attributed to third parties. So, if you want to look positive, say positive things about others. Encourage yourself without anxiety. In recent years, it seems that everyone in your industry is joining the visual bandwagon. Here's a way to achieve your goals, just create a picture and raise your voice to join these genes. But numerous scientific studies tell us that Sufism does not break overnight. 
In a University of California study, students were asked to think for a few moments each day about how high they are getting and how good they feel. Another group of students was not asked to do anything. After the students recorded how many hours of study each day, the results showed that the visual student studied less than the other group and the exams were shorter, although it took only a few minutes to process the image. Researchers have argued that people who envision a great life are not prepared for any kind of failure and thus lack the intelligence needed to achieve their goals. So what works to positively influence change? To plan. The author once studied 5,000 to 5,000 participants with multiple goals, ranging from weight loss to quitting smoking. The people who reached their goals were the ones who had the plan. The best way to plan is to break down your goals into sub-goals and create a step-by-step -step process. With less frightening action, you will feel fear and hesitation. And that's how you get into these genes. Another effective way to accomplish your goals is to tell your friends and family. Psychologists have long known that people are more likely to carry out their plans and promises when they are in public, so get them out there. Accelerate creativity while avoiding brainstorming. Most people see the mindset as a great creative booster. It probably came to us in the 1940s, when advertising executive Alex Assurin claimed that working in a group could bring a lot of ideas. However, a major research institute suggests that brainstorming suppresses us instead of creating creative ideas. In the 1880s, a French agricultural engineer conducted a study in which he asked participants to pull a rope to lift heavy weights. He found that people could lift about 185 pounds when working alone. But when they were in a group, it dropped to 140 pounds per person. This is because when we work in groups, the responsibility varies. When we are alone, however, our success or failure is ours alone. This has been confirmed by research by Brian Mullen at the University of Kent in Canterbury. They found that independent participants developed higher standards and amounts of ideas than those working in the group. But other than working independently, how can you be more innovative and creative? Try to see your unconscious mind. Sal Salvador Daly was lying on a bed with a spoon in his hand, trying to find new ideas for painting. When he went to sleep, the spoon fell from his hand and onto the floor. The voice woke him up, and he immediately changed during a slightly changed, more conscious mindset. He started sketching. Most people are not aware that our subconscious mind is capable of incredible things. But we need to know how to avoid deliberate oppression. Psychologists at the University of Amsterdam have discovered that when people are attracted to the mind, people are more creative, thus the subconscious mind finds a place to create creative ideas. So when you need to solve a problem, focus on a puzzle or something that will take your mind off the problem. Your unconscious mind will eliminate the problem in the background and you will be more likely to solve it. Encourage creative thinking by exposing your mind and surrounding yourself with green. Most of us have a laid-back attitude when it comes to painting a picture about ourselves. In fact, it is possible to increase your creativity by making some quick and easy changes around you. Our environment shapes our minds, which in turn affects our reactions. The formation of our environment is called priming, and it happens even when you are not consciously aware of it. So, for example, if you put a clean scent in the air, the purpose is to clean the people in that environment more carefully. But how can priming enhance our creativity? In an experiment conducted by Janice Forster at the University of Bremen, participants were asked to write a few sentences about punk, their behavior, appearance, and lifestyle. Pincus was chosen because he is anarchist and radical. Another group was asked to do the same, but about a general engineer, who is considered conservative and logical. Then he took a standard test of creativity. Result. The group that intended to think about the punk turned out to be significantly more creative than those who thought about the engineer. You can use this knowledge to describe a musician or artist for a few moments. Make a list of their behaviors, lifestyles, and appearances. Entering this mindset will pave the way for your creativity. Another great way to enhance your creativity is to include plants and flowers around you. It reduces stress and creates a good mood, thus increasing your creativity. In one study, researchers asked a group of people to work creatively with plants or in rooms with racks. It was found that the growth of the plant has significantly increased the creativity of the people. Another Texas A&M University workplace creativity study found that having flowers and plants in an office increased ID production from male employees by 15% and solved the problem of female employees. Has been removed. Capabilities have improved. 
focusing on the benefits can make you happy. Whether it's breakups, illnesses, or just daily stress, everyone experiences events that make us anxious, unhappy, or depressed. The good news is, there is a little exercise that can help you relieve your stress. In such situations, people seek distractions, but this solution is only effective from time to time. Instead, you should choose a solution that works for you. That is, try to combine the positive aspects of the traumatic event. This is a great way to help people in difficult situations. In a study conducted at the University of Miami, more than 300 undergraduates were instructed to choose an event in their life that would hurt or upset them. Participants were then asked to take a few minutes to explain the incident and focus on how it negatively affected them. Others were asked to focus on the benefits of the experience, things that, for example, made them a stronger or wiser person. The results showed that people who focused on their experiences were better equipped to deal with their anger and unhappiness. But what about extreme cases? Although it may sometimes seem impossible to see the silver lining in difficult situations, there is evidence that they can be positive as well. For example, research shows that since the 9-11 terrorist attacks, Americans have seen an increase in positive roles such as gratitude, hope, kindness, leadership, and teamwork. Other studies have shown that having a serious physical illness increases the beauty of courage, justice, curiosity, and humor. Improve your relationships by looking at your words. We can all help a little in our relationships. So, what are some key skills we can use to help keep us on the right track? Relationships thrive on mutual support and agreement. But, since we fully agree with our partner's comments, even the slightest bitterness needs to be sweetened with love and attention. Psychologist John Gottman discovered in his research that couples keep on joining or breaking up. Gottman analyzed the role of positive comments in agreements, understanding, and apology, and negative comments on opposition, criticism, or insults. What he discovered was that for a couple to live happily ever after, positive comments must outnumber negative comments by around 5 to 1. Other than bathing your loved ones in positive comments, what else will keep your relationship going? Try to write about your thoughts and feelings. To study ways to improve relationships, University of Texas psychologists grouped 80 new couples into two groups. One group had to write 20 minutes a day for three days in a row to write down their thoughts and feelings about their relationship, and the other group only had to write about their days. Three months later, 77% of the first group were still together, compared to 52% in the second month. You can take one last step to begin the process of preparing for mediation. In a study by psychologists Sandra Murray and John Holmes, the couple was interviewed about their partner's very positive and negative qualities. After following participants for a year, there have been successful relationships where partners have been criticized in any way. So the husband was lazy but he laughed at his partner. The wife was a terrible cook, but that meant eating more often. The simple word but enables the couple to overcome the negative effects of their partner's apparent flaws and view the relationship differently. Use psychology to detect a lie. Can you see the liar when he is trying to hide something, he can make big gestures or destabilize something. Well, the psychologist didn't find it. Some research shows that liars are less stressed than truth-tellers. In 2008, researchers at the University of Southampton asked students questions about their grades. About 50 to 50 percent exaggerated their success, yet they were not more stressed than their honest peers. According to researchers and trained observers, liars have the same ability in your eyes as truth-tellers, and in fact they do not move restlessly and motionless in their chair. So the belief that lying makes us restless. So, how can you catch a liar? The liar seems to be thinking hard for no good reason. Even liars adopt an immoral tone and try to avoid questions. In order to lie, you need to keep in mind that other people already know what they can discover, what is punishable, and what is similar to what you have already said. We say you lied to someone about your plans for Syria. A few days later, ask the person you lied about. Suddenly, your mind will wander to remember everything you said and will not create any contradictions. Because of this, when you lie, your physiology responds the same way when you think about a problem. This often means that when people lie, people don't point out much, it takes them longer to respond and they hesitate from time to time. Moreover, by avoiding words like I, I, and, mine, they try to keep themselves away from lies. Finally, liars avoid answering questions about this issue and try to get their attention by asking questions themselves. Final Summary
The key message of this book. You can significantly improve aspects of your life without much time and effort. The techniques in this book show you how to make quick and easy changes that enhance your creativity, skills, relationships, and more. Here is what you can implement starting today. Write your own explanation. To help you identify and move toward your long-term goals, try an exercise where you articulate your language. Scientists think that thinking about how you would like to be remembered after your death can reveal your real-life goals. Trap liars by asking for emails. If you want to reduce the risk of someone lying, talk via email. According to Cornell University communications experts, people are less likely to lie in an email because their words are on the record. You like what you hear. Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos, so thanks to your contributions on Patreon and watching our videos. We are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.